Hey guys, how's it going? So a lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial about how to change the menu background in uh, Team Fortress 2. And I figured, well, you know, I haven't done a Team Fortress 2 video in who knows how long, and uh, let alone a tutorial, so I figured, hey, you know, might as well do something like this and educate people, do whatever. So to do this, you're going to need two programs. You're going to need VTF Edit and you're going to need uh, GCF Scape. Links will be in the description for each of these programs. I'm not going to run through how to install them. I entrust that you guys know how to install the program by now. So, what you want to do is you want to go to your Team Fortress directory. For me, that's in my C drive, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, and then TF. And you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the Team Fortress 2 direct textures directory. Uh, if you didn't have GCF Scape installed, you would not be able to open this. But because we do have it installed, you just open up just like that. Then you want to go to Materials. You want to go to Console. And then here you go, you got all the backgrounds Team Fortress uses. You know, even old Halloween stuff is still in there. Even old, like, war stuff, like back from the early days in Team Fortress 2, it's all in here. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need these. You're going to need. Two fort, two fort widescreen gravel pit MVM, MVM widescreen upward and upwards widescreen. You're gonna need these. If you want to go crazy with it, you can also take uh, the full moon. I don't, I normally don't, but it's good to have. And because we're currently in the middle of a Team Fortress event, you're gonna want to take the uh, right down here, the title team heavy blue, heavy red, and the pyro blue. Pyro Red. If you don't, then nothing will change and you'll still have these backgrounds. The ones up top that we took, those are just for regular every day when there's no event and nothing special is going on. But these are the special ones we gotta use. So I already took everything, put them in a stone little folder. You see if you open it up, there you go, you can see this is, this is how it is, this is what it looks like. Every every texture for the background is 2048 by 2048 and even the widescreen I don't even know why the widescreen ones in this one are different like why they're different files they're all the same I don't know I just take them anyway so these are the files we're going to be using and you know, if you want to edit it it's very simple you just go to resize and you just type in 2048 you know by 2048 hit OK save there you go you just you know very very simple stuff and uh, what you want to do next is you want to go back open up VTF edit hit this little icon up here this little picture for folders is import click on that go down to tutorial well try me a folder so here it's gonna be wherever for you and you just pick a file you don't change any of these settings these settings are fine I don't know what any of this is you know but um, yeah, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Takes a little while to load, so don't freak out if VTF edit. You know, if you think it crash or something, it just takes a while. I don't know why though. So now you just play the waiting game. Okay, there we go. Over here in flags, you don't really need to change anything. A lot of people put uh, no level of detail. I don't know what it does. Yeah, I just follow the crowd. Everyone says to do it. I so I just do it, go to file, save as, and then just type in whatever you want, I don't know. And then just save it, and there you go, you made a VTF file, look at you. So then I already made a folder, then what you want to do is just put all the ones you created. So I turned all all these files into VTFs, put them in here, and then you just gotta rename them all. So you know, just quick and easy rename copy, rename, paste, you know, all that, very simple, a lot, very, 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 very time consuming, but, so it's got to be done, so everything's got the same name, and then what you want to do next is, you got to make a folder, uh, and you got to, you got to copy the directory, like, exactly how they have it, so you got to get materials, open that up, console and then you 
just that's it so you, what you do you just drag everything in there and there you go next you want to what you want to do is you want to go back to your TF oh it went too far where your team fortress 2 where are you there you are and you want to go to your where is it then I think hmm yeah 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 you want to go to your bin folder common team for just to bin your vpk dot exe send that to the desktop you know, just make a shortcut of it and then put that you do you just drag the folder the materials folder over just drag it in does this thing and there you just created your own vpk i did it wrong i did it wrong i'm sorry about that so just name it something just name it I'm just saying, like, no, can't do that. Alright. Tutorial reel, put that in there. Move that over. There you go, you just created a, uh, your own mod. See, and you open it up. It's got all of our photos in it. So take that, go back to your Team Fortress folder. TF2, custom, tut reel, throw that in there. All you gotta do, da, 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 uh, Team Fortress 2, Team Fortress 2. Just open that up, and you should, you should see it change. If it doesn't change, you probably did something wrong. I can't really help you there. Just watch the tutorial again. It's gonna take a while for Team Fortress 2 to launch. I don't know if it's like every update they release, the game just gets slower and slower. Alright, so we're in game, and as you can see, the background changed. And that's that's all there is to it. Very simple, very easy tutorial. And now you too can make all these mods. It changes the background. Uh and just mess around with it and there's so many backgrounds to change you can change loading screen you can change Halloween stuff and you know, full moon you can change everything so that's the end of the tutorial I hope you guys learned something and uh... yeah I'll see y'all next time Come on, don't leave me like this. I